Hey everyone, Andy from wagertalk.com. Breaking down the Baltimore Ravens traveling to Los Angeles to take on the Chargers. Wager Talk live odds screen shows that the Ravens are minus four points with the over under of 46. Got a pretty nice play that I really like in this one. It's a little bit obscure, but I think you guys are going to like it, and I've got some really good reasons for it. If you could do me a favor, please hit the like button. Let's wager talk. No, I'm doing a good job and that you like these videos. And leave me a comment below. I love the comments. Tell me what your best bet is. Uh, tell me what you're liking in this game. I always read the comments. Please do that. And then here in a minute, we're going to go over a really good special for Thanksgiving week. We do this special once a year. It's one of the most popular promotions. No promo code needed. Let's take a look at the Ravens and the Chargers. And... I don't want to go over a ton of stats because the Chargers are just so bizarre. Here's one thing we do know about the Chargers. They're going to allow a ton of passing yards. Every quarterback has gone over their passing total in the props market. Every single one of them. So you're, the first thing you're doing in this game is you're going to take Lamar Jackson over his passing yards. Chargers have played 10 games. All 10 quarterbacks go over. Jordan Love's passing total was 230 and a half. He had 330 yards. They are historically bad. So you know the Baltimore Ravens are going to be able to pass. What's going to be interesting is the Chargers are pretty decent at stopping the run. And that's obviously what the Ravens, you know, want to do. Um, in fact, if we look at the Chargers rush defense, uh, yeah, they're 12th. So, um, you know, just they're, they're just barely allowing 100 yards a game. So my guess is Baltimore attacks through the air because that's what everyone else is going to do or what everyone else has been doing. So I want to look at the schedules because this is where I'm making my pick. I, I can go through all the numbers and the stats, but here's, here's what I'm looking at. So I will start with the Ravens. I've talked about this at nauseum, how the Ravens and Lamar Jackson hammer NFC teams. You've heard me talk about it a million times, but they do. If you haven't been able to practice against someone like Lamar Jackson or you haven't played against them before, they come in and they're so fast and their offense is so different and before you know it, you're down three scores and the game's out of reach. So let's look at some of these games that the Ravens have played against NFC teams. So they play Seattle, 37-3 win. They, they play uh, uh, Arizona, and they, they win 31-24. They play Detroit, 38-36. So these are big wins against these NFC teams. And um, when you look at that... Uh, the Arizona game, the final score is 31-24. Arizona scored 17 points in the fourth quarter. That game was 21-7 going into the fourth quarter. So don't think that was a close game all throughout. But then when we look at the Ravens and their schedule against AFC teams, they win last week 34-20. That's the Joe Burrow game where he where he gets, uh, gets hurt. They lose to Cleveland. Then we go all the way back to Tennessee. That's an overseas game, 24-16, one score. They lose to Pittsburgh, 27-3. They beat Cleveland, 28-3, but that was the Dorian Thompson-Robinson game where he didn't know he was even going to be playing. They lose in overtime to the Colts. They beat Cincinnati by three on a hobbled Joe Burrow with one calf, and then they hammer Houston in C.J. Stroud's first ever NFL game. They are just so much better against NFC teams than they are against AFC teams. Now let's look at the Chargers, who have to be one of the most infuriating, frustrating teams to try and bet on. So they lose by three to Green Bay. They lose uh, by three to Detroit. They hammer the Jets. They hammer the Bears. They get they get taken apart by Kansas City. But Dallas, they play pretty close. So I'm looking at these home games, and these home games are interesting. So at home against Detroit... They put up 38, but they lose by three. Uh, at home against Chicago, they win by 17. Easy win. Uh, that was the, uh, against uh, Tyson Bajan. Dallas, close game, three-point game. They win by seven at home against Vegas. And then they only lose by two in the first game of the year to Miami. But then you go on the road. They lose in overtime, Tennessee. Uh, they do beat Minnesota, but they get, they get pretty much taken care of by Kansas City. And then they lose at Green Bay. Um, they do have the win against the Jets, but that's just one of Zach Wilson's horrible games. I think they're better at home than they are on the road. 
So um, I think you get a Ravens team that this number may be a little bit inflated based on their performances against NFC teams. And you get a Chargers game that, you know, if, if Justin Herbert does what he does like you get against the Lions, which is 323 yards and four touchdowns, I think they make this game a little bit interesting here. Um, so for, before I get to my pick, guys, I do want to tell you about the Thanksgiving special. $69 for a seven-day pass. It's not going to get much better than this promo. It gets you all sports and it gets you all percentages. We are coming off of a 12 and 2 weekend and we've been in the top 4 or top 3 in total units gain for 2023 and for the last 365 days. We're over 57% on our last 2000 plays. Very proud of our record and very proud of the units gained. If you haven't had a chance to uh, use some of my official plays, perfect time. Perfect time because you get seven days worth, and we've got NBA, NHL, NFL, probably some soccer. So you get to see how our handicapping style works, and we're coming off of a red-hot three-day pass, so there's no better time to join. No promo code needed. Just go to Andy Lang's profile page on wagertalk.com. You'll see the special right there. We do it once a year for Thanksgiving week. It's one of our most popular specials, if not the most popular. So take advantage of it. There's no reason to buy just one play. One play is like a third of the price of this entire week. So take advantage of that for Thanksgiving. Uh, you get all the NFL games starting Thursday and all the way through Monday. So take advantage of that. No promo code needed. Just look for Andy Lang on wagertalk.com's profile page. All right, official play. I want those four points with the Chargers. I, I know it's tough, Brandon, Brandon Staley, and some of these wonky things, but the Chargers rush defense – I think can kind of make it a little bit close. It terrifies it terrifies me that Lamar Jackson is going to be able to throw all, all over the place. But if the Chargers can keep this game close going into the fourth quarter, I like that I get Justin Herbert, who I think is probably the better passer. And we've seen this uh, this Chargers team. You know, they even though they're losing, they're not getting blown out, especially at home. So uh, they have so at home only a two point loss to Miami. They win against Vegas, only a three point loss against Dallas. They win against Chicago. They lose by three to Detroit. So they have not lost at home by more than three points. So I will take four points. And yes, I know it's going to be really frustrating to watch this Chargers team. I think they make it a game. I think it's a close game. And I trust uh, the Ravens against NFC teams way more than I do against AFC teams. So official pick, Chargers plus four points. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to take advantage of that seven-day pass, especially if you have never purchased my plays. There's no better time to sample seven days' worth of plays for $69. Check me out at wagertalk.com. Good luck in your plays. We'll see you over in the next video.